Well, back by popular demands, my mom. Oh, right. Mom, thanks for coming back on. Oh, I'm so Seriously. happy to be here. People thanks. love when you come on. I really think you just tell me that right now. I <laughs> know, they do. Because well, cooking is like your spiritual gift. Yes, I enjoy it. And you're really good at it. Always have been. Thank and so you. we're going to give everyone two amazing side dishes for Thanksgiving because there's always kind of the pressure of like, oh, there's a party or you're cooking for family or extended family and you always want to have great side dishes. So this is the one to go to people. Now, Thanksgiving in our family, I hate to say it, Denise always offers to bring a dish. And what do you do? Nothing. <laughs> never. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's never too late to start, Rachel. Oh, thanks. It's well, never too late. That's a great motivation. Okay. Because I'm just, I'm not a great cook and I don't really like, oh, I try. That's okay. I've tried. But it, but our family, you do all the, yes. you really, I really do. And you know, cooking for Thanksgiving is something I really enjoy doing. Yes. I mean, it took a lot of years to practice. It took a lot of years to yep. really know how to do the perfect dishes and a tip. Yes. Tips. Love tips. Because we usually eat on Wednesday nights. I know, we started a tradition with the Ramseys because of the way all the in-laws worked mm -hmm. and everyone's schedules. We do Wednesday night yes. dinner. And it works great. Yes. And so I really start planning a week ahead. I go to the grocery, I buy basically everything yep. a week before. Yep. And then probably Monday, two to three days before is when I do all of the really harder yeah like dishes. the prep and stuff yes so yes. do you make I, so you make things before the actual dinner yes yes the one thing i do not make would be our green beans that we're going to do today. oh good okay green beans because green beans are not my favorite food in the world i'm not gonna lie to you guys mm -hmm. because usually if you have them it's just like out of a can and that's when you eat it but you don't just do out of the can you do a bunch of other stuff in your I green do. beans so talk me through your green bean recipe yes well i do use canned green beans yes i in the summer months when we have fresh green beans, I do fresh. Because then you like pop them and all oh, that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fresh. <laughs> but. So much work. But can is good for Thanksgiving. Yes, perfect. And you have a brand you love. Uh, I love, it took it several times making it. Yeah. But I really think Allen's. Allen's. It's the Italian green beans. Because it has like a seasoning um, in it. It's a two pound. I, they come in different sizes. This is uh, four pounds. Okay, perfect. So. And so I would take and. With your vegetables, all vegetables have water. Yes, so in the can. In the can. So yeah. it's always very important to rinse your vegetables. Yeah, so I don't do that. You That's just st strain them. All you do it's is terrible strain them. that I don't and wash you, them? Well, <laughs> yes, it could be. <laughs> so. so put them in a strainer. Always wash yes. your canned vegetables. Wash your cans, yes, yes. Okay. What we're gonna do is just put our two cans of green beans, and depending on the size of your family, um, I usually, for Thanksgiving, I think I do at least three to four. And you're doing a crock pot. Yes, for Thanksgiving, if I normally was just during, anytime during the week, I would do it on the stove. Okay, so then how long do you cook the green beans? Yes, if it's in the crock pot, in the mornings, I would usually put it on probably for about two hours on high. Okay. And then I would turn it down to low, maybe just depending, you can always check, yeah. maybe two hours, three hours. Okay, so about five hours total, half on high, half on yes. low. -ish. Yes, Okay. yes. And people in the South, we do cook our vegetables a little longer, yeah. I have been told. <laughs> okay. So it does depend maybe what you prefer. I love that. I love it. Yeah. Hey, Southern people cook Real good meals. So, yes, yes, yes. So washed green beans from the can goes in the crock pot. What's next? Yes. So I would buy anything that's organic and it's always chicken broth. And um, I would use probably depending on how much uh, liquid you want, maybe about a cup. Okay. So just pour a cup uh -oh, in. Oh, see, okay, no, we can't do this because you say pour a cup in, I need a measuring cup. Okay, so you go. Let's just, let's just Stress, maybe. Stresses me out, people. Just cover the bottom. Cover the bottom, that's a good tip. That's good. Okay. And that's probably, I'm gonna say a cup and a half. Okay. Just eyeballing it, people. Just, just eyeballing. <laughs> just eyeballing. All right. And yeah. everybody prefers different levels of salt and pepper. And But you use a lot of seasonings. I do. Yeah. And I know some people put even um, hot flakes. Oh, like red peppers. Yes, red pepper That's flakes. That's good. All right, but let me do something. I feel like okay. you're cooking it. Okay. okay. So what, what am I doing, Mom, here? You're putting the butter in. It's great. Okay, how Which much is butter? Uh, two tablespoons. Okay. And then this is your secret ingredient. This is a secret ingredient. 
At Thanksgiving, we have a ham and a turkey. And you're always, always gonna have so much ham left over. Yep. And so each year, I will freeze the ham that is left over from our Thanksgiving. And I use it throughout the year. You use it on soups. You use it in any type of beans. Yes. So That's you good. have to be creative. We always like, leave with a bag of ham from mom's house. I do. How, and how much is it? It's like, let me, I'm going to pick it up. Okay. I wash my hands, but just to show everyone. Like, so I'm you just, just get a chunk. I'm just chunk totally of ham. guessing. Okay, yes. so just, but you just put ham in. Because what does the ham do in it? Flavor. Well, it adds, because of the fat that is on the ham, okay. and all the seasonings that the ham has on, okay. it will cook into the green beans. Okay, yes. amazing. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. So and it actually, the flavor is, it's amazing versus just like out of a can for green bean. Totally. And unwashed totally. green bean out of can. This is totally. washed with all the good stuff in totally. it. Totally. Love it, mom. Okay, we're gonna put this aside and do my favorite recipe that you make. Yes, you're let's stuffing. Do it. Let's do it. All right, the next recipe is your famous stuffing. Yes. I had to go through several different dressing recipes to find the perfect one. Okay. And so I found this one, I'm gonna say maybe eight years ago, mm -hmm. and I have stuck with that throughout the years. That's good. And so everyone loves it, so I think, I, think, I think I'll stick with it for <laughs> forever. Okay, so we do dry ingredients first, you yes, said. So do. this is biscuits. This is biscuits, and I love the Pillsbury frozen biscuits, and I do the buttermilk because they're yep. fluffy, they add a little bit of flavor, yep. they're just really good. Okay, so four cups of biscuits, which is about what, eight biscuits? I'm gonna say, said? yes, probably eight biscuits. Okay, perfect. Yes, so yes. eight biscuits crumbled up, yes. cooked. Next is cornbread. Yes, cornbread. Four cups of cornbread. So yes. four cups of biscuits, cornbread. four cups of cornbread. Okay, and then breadcrumbs. Yes. And four cups of breadcrumbs yes. as well. Yes. And your thing with breadcrumbs. Yes. Um, you can go to the bakery um, at most grocery stores, and they will have the um, crouton breadcrumbs, which really add and will probably make the recipe a little different. Okay. But it's yummy. And okay. it's, again, so you a lot of flavors are already added. Uh -huh. So it kind of just adds to the mix a little. And then we will do our onions, celery, celery. green onions, parsley, and then we have sage. And then? And then of course we have our famous salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. You gotta say, you gotta say your famous phrase, mom. Yes. Rachel, just open up your spice cabinet. There it Anything is, people. Anything will work. There it is. Yes. All right. Then you do. And then we uh, right will ingredients. add all of our liquids. And this is chicken broth. The recipe actually calls for about two to three cups. Okay. But we like ours moist. Yes. So I will always add an extra more. cup. So Which is cups. probably about four cups. Okay. Perfect. And then again, once you're mixing it yeah. and you feel like maybe it's a little drier, because when you bake it, uh -huh. it's going to absorb all of the chicken broth. And then we oh, have this eggs, good. which are two uh, slightly beaten eggs. Okay. And then butter. And then we have our butter, which is always special. Half a cup. Half a cup of butter. <laughs> Yum. Yes. Okay. And then you just mix it all up. And then you put it in a greased pan. Yes. And you put it in the oven for? 45 minutes. Okay. At 350. 350 for 45 minutes. Homemade stuffing, you guys. It's delicious. It is. It's, it's delicious. so good. Okay, so I'll finish mixing this and we'll get our two dishes ready and okay. we'll taste them. Yes, how fun. All right, finished product. Two great side dishes for Thanksgiving. Yep. So good. And if you guys want these two recipes and a surprise recipe that may have to do with dessert, dessert. Sharon's famous. So more recipes to come. Make sure to click the link below. All right, cheers Let's do to it. stuffing. Mm -hmm. Mm, mm. That's good. Very good. That's good, guys. That's good. Well, thanks for coming on. Oh, I loved it. Thank You'll have you, to come Rachel. back. Thank you. Cook more for us. I will. Thanks. <laughs>